they're married. I'm so happy for them, you guys. Ooh, Caspian is talking, I mean, he's tense, but Caspian is talking to Alice May. Minerva and William are here without Gabriel, actually. Oh. Hey rainbows, we are back with another episode of the royal family. I'm so excited for today's episode because we are having Arya and Gabriel's wedding and we're also doing a few other things as well. We're going to be going to see, I'll show you guys little baby Rin, Han and Araminta's second baby that they just had in the last episode. And then we are also going to have Juliet, Elena, Manuel, and Takashi's birthday party. And we are also going to go to the Windenburg Palace for a bit. I also have some important things to talk to you guys about, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Before we begin, I will just tell you guys that there are two story posts that I posted on my Instagram about Caspian. The first one is with his mom, so it's Caspian and his mom. The second one is a phone call with his dad, so it just gives you guys a little bit of backstory that we're gonna be talking about later in the episode, so those are linked below in the video description. But yeah, so this is where we're having our royal wedding of Oasis Springs. I will show you guys the ceremony space and reception space in just a second. So as most of you guys know, Oasis Springs, the kingdom. It is a mix of a lot of different cultures. Some of it is from Indian culture. Some of it is from Middle Eastern culture. So going off of those traditions, because I did some research and then I've also just based off of what I know from the Indian weddings and the Pakistani weddings that I had at my work. So I used to work at a wedding venue. So the weddings typically last multiple days. They have multiple events. So on the first night they had just their immediate family, like Ari and Gabriel's parents and siblings. And then the day after that, Arya, Kimmy, Aisha, Minerva, which is Gabriel's sister, and then Gabriel's mother, Ari, Arya's aunt, Megan. Those are all the women in their immediate family? Yeah, I think so. But they got their henna done. And then that night, which is the night before this event, before the main wedding ceremony, they had a big party at the Oasis Springs Palace for more of their friends and family. So there was a lot more people there and there was just a lot of dancing and food and music. So that was last night. And then before the wedding ceremony, I couldn't do this. I wish I could, but we don't have horses, but there would be this procession for the groom. So basically like a parade where he rides in on either a white horse or an elephant. And I have neither. Unfortunately, we still don't have horses in The Sims. At this point, I don't even know if we're gonna get it. I really hope we do. But yeah, so Gabriel came in on a white horse. So that happened right before the wedding. And now we're having the wedding ceremony. And then, so we'll have the ceremony and then we will have the reception. The reception, there's just like so much dancing, so much music, it's a lot of fun. It's really lively, a lot of partying, a lot of different colors, like just bright colors everywhere. So it's just this whole weekend, like multiple days of celebration to celebrate Arya and Gabriel finally getting married. I'm so excited for them. But yeah, that all happened before the wedding. So they've had a very busy weekend. Now, of course, we are having the ceremony and reception. We have a lot of people attending. I'm very excited. We're going to be having, so this wedding's gonna take place at night. So it's gonna be very lit up. We're gonna have the ceremony back here. And then the reception space is, is in here. You guys will see all of that momentarily. Ari and Gabriel are currently finishing up getting ready and then we're gonna be starting the ceremony in just a minute. I have some things here to honor Prince Philip, Arya's dad. So we have, I've mentioned before in the Facts and Secrets video, if you didn't see that, I can link that below, but I mentioned that Philip's favorite flowers were sunflowers. So that's why when Gabriel proposed, he had sunflowers all lined up. So it was almost like Philip was there to be there for their special moment when Gabriel was proposing. And then I have a picture here of Philip as well. And then for the candles, let's say that they're LED candles because that seems a little bit dangerous to have on the floor there. <laughs> but it is getting a little bit late. So let's go ahead and start the ceremony and then we could talk about everything else during the reception and stuff. Okay, so they are now about to get married. We have Manuel walking Aria down the aisle. Typically it would be like her uncles walking her down the aisle too. So Nea's brothers, Michael and Francisco, but there's no animation for that. And another thing I found out is that traditionally there is no kissing during the wedding because kissing is typically seen as a personal thing, even if it's a couple getting married. So they don't do it in public out of respect for their elders who might get offended by it. So if they wanna kiss, they're gonna have to go either find somewhere and sneak off or they're gonna have to do it after the wedding. But yeah, so this is their ceremony. Again, they don't close it off with a kiss. They would typically close the ceremony by just having all of the family members go up on stage for a big family photo. We're not gonna do that, but that is how they would end the wedding ceremony. I know for Oasis Springs, the colors are like yellow, gold, and green 
green, but for weddings, they usually have a lot of really bright colors. And I've seen from just a lot of pictures and stuff, a lot of reds for the bride to wear, but they don't have to stick completely to their colors. I think it's fine, but yay. Okay. So they are now married. Uh, please ignore just this random space here. I didn't have any use for it. So I just left it there. Oh, and then another thing too, I made this recolor. So I kind of learned how to recolor. It's not that great, but I recolored this outfit for the wedding specifically for Gabriel. So I'm again, this is my first time recoloring. So it's not great. I am going to share it. I'll share it on my Tumblr page, which you guys can find the links for below. So it's going to be available today, which is August 11th. It'll be available for my patrons for early access. And then it'll be available for the public in a week on August 18th. I'm only going to be recoloring and doing things that I need for the series. I'm not going to be like a custom content creator or anything like that. I just, just that first, obviously some of the kingdoms and stuff, we need specific items of clothing. So anything that I recolor or make for the series, I will definitely share for you guys. Now we're going to open the space for the reception. So let's unlock this. All right, so I just called everyone to come get food. So we've got people running into here for the reception. We got a lot of people here. I actually didn't have any toddlers be invited to the wedding. So we have Zayori and Rin being watched right now at the Glimmerbrook Palace. So Araminta and Han are both here. I actually have this dress for Araminta. This is on my Pinterest board, which is linked below. Oh, why are they coming to eat out here? I mean, that's fine. Okay. But I found this dress for Araminta and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. There's some pictures of her in it on my Instagram, but I wanted to have her actually wear it to an event in an episode. It's so pretty. If she stands later, maybe we can see it. And then we have Arya and Gabriel here. So they're married. I'm so happy for them, you guys. Okay, but they are eating. We have Makana here. We have Kaleo here. Of course, we have Araminta. So this is her dress. I'm gonna, oh no, pause. This is the dress. Look at it. Isn't it so gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love this. But yeah, that's on my Pinterest board. You guys can find that there. We've got Kimmy. I'm gonna have Kimmy go talk to Makana. I don't know why people are not sitting down. Ooh, whoops. I don't know why people are not sitting down. They are just like hanging out and standing and eating. Okay, so I now have Arya and Gabriel slow dancing. And then we've got Corn Farm slow dancing back there. Oh, and then I also posted a picture on my Instagram of Corn Boy and Farm Boy. So Cordelius and Alice going on a double date with Arya and Gabriel, which I definitely think was Alice's idea. I think he brought that up to Cornelius. And at first Cornelius was like, I don't really want to, but then he convinced him and they ended up having a lot of fun. I feel like that was a pretty recent thing too. Like I know Arya and Gabriel got engaged a while ago, but I feel like they just all didn't really have that much time at first. So I kind of feel like they did that double date a few weeks before the wedding, even though it was to celebrate Arya and Gabriel's engagement. Oh, I don't think I said that. Yeah, that was to celebrate Arya and Gabriel's engagement. So they're all, I mean, pretty much friends now. And then we have Han and Araminta slow dancing and we will see them later in the episode. Oh, we have Kimmy and Makana slow dancing too. Oh, this is Alice May. So this is some different hair for her. Oh, she looks kind of uncomfortable. And this is also her Aunt May's dress. This is Amira's sister's dress. We put her in that on the stream and it looks so good on her. She looks so cute. The hair is different for sure. I wanted to just put it up, but most of the curly buns looked a little bit too mature for her. So I decided to go with this ponytail. I thought it worked for now. So I don't know how often I will have her wearing that, but I thought it worked. And then for Arya's dress, so it's not typically the style, nor is it the creator that I have used for I Aisha's designs that we've said that have been her designs in the past, but we can say that Aisha made her dress. We could just say that Arya wanted to do something a little bit more traditional. So Aisha just went with that. Oh, and then we have Dest. Okay, so Dest is here. So I'm going to, I think Adric's here somewhere. Going to have her and Adric slow dance. So Zamora is doing a little bit better. I still feel like with her situation, cause I mentioned in the last episode that she was getting a little bit ill and it's probably just having to do with stress, but I feel like once Adric told her Desta's decision, saying that they were gonna stay together, I kind of think that just helped the more a little bit, like that relieved a little bit of her stress. So I didn't have her come to the wedding because I think that she's still in recovery, but she is doing a little bit better. So that is good. Okay, I don't know where Adric, oh, is that? Mm, nope, that is Elon. Oh, and the, oh no, there's Adric. Okay, so let's have Adric and Desta go slow dance over here. And then Natalia is here somewhere too. So her and Elon can slow dance. Okay, Adric and Desta are now about to slow dance. I love that Kimmy and Makana, every time I make them slow dance with each other, they slow dance for like the whole night. Like everyone else kind of stops to do other things, but Kimmy and Makana keep slow dancing. I think that's really cute. They did that at Samaria and Bellatrix's wedding too. And 
then yeah, now Adric and Desta, they're slow dancing together. And Aisha's just jamming. And then we have Cedric here. Julia and Manuel, they were slow dancing earlier. Oh, okay, and then William is here. So we gave William glasses and he looks so cute, I love him. So William and Minnie, which is Gabriel's little sister. Let's see if I can find her somewhere. She is right here. She's in the orange over here. So after, the, this happened two episodes ago, I believe, when they were at the club and William and Minerva started slow dancing and flirting and then Gabriel got mad and he went into like full protective brother mode. So I feel like after that happened, Arya had to calm him down. But I do think that Minerva and William, they've been texting a little bit and they might be going on a date after Gabriel moves out. I think that Minerva just doesn't want to have to deal with her brother being overprotective. So I think maybe in the next episode, they'll be going on a date. And then also I'm trying to do this by the next episode. I would like to have Diana and Abraham's wedding and then Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton's wedding too. I'm not 100% sure if we'll have both, but I'm hoping to at least have one of those two. But now why don't we have Arya and Gabriel? Oh, well, okay. There is some dishes here, um, but why don't we have them go ahead and cut the cake? So cut wedding cake. I love them, you guys. I'm so excited they're finally married now too. For their honeymoon, I'm thinking they might go to Sulani. Fallon and Charles went to Brindleton Bay actually for their honeymoon. I did, oh, okay, wait, wait, no, no, no. Oh, this is so cute, stop, yay. Oh my gosh, I love that animation so, so much. Fallon and Charles, they're still on their honeymoon right now, actually. I did a mod review of Kwai Stacy's Memorable Events mod. So that was the last video that I posted. And in there, I did like a meet the baby event where Han's family and some of their close friends, Aramint and Han's close friends came over to meet little baby Rin. And then I had a little short one just showing you guys, like there's a honeymoon event. So I had Fallon and Charles go to Brindleton Bay for their honeymoon. So I can imagine they're doing a lot of like sightseeing. Like they've been to Brindleton Bay before, but I feel like they haven't gone. Well, Fallon hasn't really gone, but Charles has been there before. But I think that Charles and Fallon, they haven't really like gone to see all the places. Like they're doing a lot of shopping and eating a lot of good food and hanging out by the water and all that stuff. So they went to Brindleton Bay. I think Arya and Gabriel are gonna go to Sulani. I feel like that's a popular place for honeymoons for sure, but I can imagine them going there, even though they've been there a lot, but I think they would just enjoy Sulani. But I think that's everything that needed to be done here. I'm gonna have Gabriel and Arya keep dancing and then we'll have them try for a baby in a couple episodes, not yet. But yeah, they're slow dancing now. Aisha's still dancing behind them. She's jamming, she's having fun. We got Jabari, looks like he's telling a story and a ton of people are listening to it right now. Or maybe he's dancing. Is he dancing or is he telling a story? He's dancing and telling a story. So Jabari is here for their wedding and then he's going to be going to Selva Dorada tomorrow. So when we go to Windenburg later, he's actually not going to be there. So I mentioned in the last episode that he's going back to help with Adric and Elon and everyone. So yeah. Oh, and then with Ellis and Gabriel, I'm gonna actually have him go talk to Gabriel, have him congratulate them. All right, so Ellis is talking to them right now. I kind of feel like maybe Ellis is asking like, oh, well, how do you guys know when to, I don't know, maybe this was a private conversation with Gabriel earlier, probably not here, but I can picture Ellis asking them like, how do you know when you were ready to get married? Maybe because he was thinking about him and Cornelius. And I feel like Gabriel kind of got like where he was coming from when he asked. I can see Gabriel telling him like, look, if you really love them, then you just know like it feels right. So maybe that's urging Ellis to, um, I don't know, maybe him and Cornelius might be moving a step up in their relationship soon, very soon. So yeah. Oh, and then Ellis just became good friends with Arya. So cute. All right, but it, the lights all kind of turned off on us. So I think it is time to end the wedding here. So we're gonna skip to the next day and go see little baby Rin. But yeah, they're, I'm just, I'm so happy for them, you guys. They are so sweet. I love Arya and Gabriel. I'm sure this entire time too, Arya's thinking about her dad, wishing her dad could be there. I'm sure that Naya told her before the wedding that her dad would have been so proud of her and so happy for for her and Gabriel too. But yay, okay, so let's go ahead and skip to the next day and go see baby Rin. All right, we're now at the Glimmerbrook Palace. I still have not gotten the chance to find another palace that I wanna put in the, like on a 64 by 64 lot, like I've mentioned in the past for Glimmerbrook. It's not like my number one priority right now. I'm trying to get other stuff done that I need to, but once I do that, I will show you. I also keep forgetting to move Dowager Empress Maylin in here, but she's the 
supposed to be living in here, her and Duke Kentaro, so I need to do that as well. But we have little baby Rin here. Let me see if I can get the camera lower so you guys can see her. There she is, she's so cute. She's taking a nap, she's so sweet, she's adorable. Zayori loves having a little sister. She's such a good big sister. She loves helping to take care of her, oh my gosh. But Han and Zayori playing right now is so cute. So I'm sure Han and Araminta, I think they're gonna have three kids. So they're gonna be trying for another baby later. We're gonna just wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait until at least Rin is into a regular sized toddler instead of the miniature toddler. So we'll let them enjoy this first. But oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. I love them. They're such a cute family. There's not much that we needed to do here. I really just was gonna show you Rin and that's it. And then next we're gonna go to the Windenburg Palace to see Alice May for a bit. And also so I can talk to you guys about two things. One about the name for our new kingdom for Salvadorada and Dakarai. And then another thing I need to talk to you about is the history of Windenburg video. So why don't we go to Windenburg first? I really, we're just here to show you guys the baby. That's it. And then we got to see Han and Zayori for a bit too. And then of course we have Araminta. Oh, what the heck is going on with Takashi? That's weird. I just reset him. I think he's fine now. That was really weird, but he's turning into a young adult soon. So yeah, we'll do that soon. Oh, he's doing it again. That's so weird. What the heck is this? I've been having so many glitches recently and I don't know what's going on. Oh no, my game just froze. Well, okay, I'm gonna fix this and when I get back, we'll be in Windenburg. All right, we're at the Windenburg Palace now. I did have to exit out of my game. I had to close it down and then reboot it back up. So I think I need to do some mod and CC clean out or something. But yeah, so, okay, we're at the Windenburg Palace now. And then as you guys know, in the last episode, we saw Caspian return back from Sulani. And then I mentioned earlier in the video that I had two Instagram posts about Caspian on my Instagram. So you guys know that Caspian went to his dad's to be there for a few months months and what they were actually doing I didn't mention this before because I kind of wanted all the information to be revealed like as we go but while he was there his parents wanted to try to have him go to school for a bit to see how it would go because he wasn't originally going to school in Sulani because he was younger and a kid and his dad was traveling all the time but then since he was older they were like okay maybe we can try this and I was saying that he had gotten in a little bit of trouble but he was actually expelled and the reason why you you guys will find out later. But he's here right now. As you guys know, he's being tutored at the Windenburg Palace. And oh, Alice May's here too. I kind of feel like maybe Caspian was in here and maybe he was finishing up some work and the tutor left and Alice May asked if she could come do her work in here too. And this is her house slash palace. It's her home. So I'm sure he didn't want to say no. But yeah, it looks like they're just doing homework together right now. But we'll just hang out here. Actually, we didn't get to see Cedric that much in the last episode or we haven't seen him a lot recently. So we're just going to show Cedric. He's playing outside right now. So there's a few things I just wanted to bring up to you guys. One, I got a lot of good suggestions for naming the new kingdom. So I think what I am going to do for Dakarai and Selva Dorada is have it be called something new. Someone suggested UKDS or UKSD. So the United Kingdom of Selva Dorada and Dakarai. There were some other names too. Some people combined both of the kingdom names that sound really cool. So in a few days, I'm going to put a poll on my community post for you guys to vote. I'm gonna give it at least like three or four days so it just gives people time to watch the episode so they know what I'm talking about. As for their last name, if it is one of the names, like the combined names, then maybe I'll just go with that for their last name. If it ends up being the UKDS or UKSD, I don't know if I'm going to go with that for their last name. I might change it to Dakarai in that case. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's gonna be a process, but we'll figure it out. And I want your guys' input on it as well. So that is the first thing. Second thing, I was talking about this on the stream the other day. I've mentioned this before. I'm so sorry. My history of Windenburg video has been taken like a year at this point. I know I talked about it like a year ago. The first reason is because I didn't completely remember like how exactly all the storyline went because it was such a long time ago. So I made up something and I don't, I, the thing that I made up, I like wrote it down in story form for me to do a voiceover for, for a machinima. And I just, I don't like the story. I don't, I'm a little self-conscious about how the story is. I don't know. I just, I'm not really a writer. I just like telling stories, but I'm definitely not a writer. So since I wasn't playing it, I didn't really remember how it went. And then another reason it was taking me so long to do it is because of, oh, I don't know who that guy just is that walked by, but okay. And then another reason it was taking a while is because 
for what I had in mind and how the story went, I don't have any animations for it. But I suggested it to the people on the stream and a lot of them seem to like this idea is if we just had a little mini series where I played through just the first generation of my royal family of Windenburg. So like Queen Ravenna, Queen Caroline, which I mentioned in my secrets and facts video. So that way I can like talk through it and play around with it with you guys. And you guys can give me your input as well. And then maybe after the series is over, I'll have a better idea of how the story's supposed to go. And then maybe I'll be able to do a machinima for it. Who is this guy? Why are you here? Who are you? No, go away. It's a stand and he's just here. And this is a child. Please go away. Oh my gosh. Mmm, do not like that there's a stranger here. Okay, anyway. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on that. If I need to do a poll for that too, then I can. I'm sorry guys, I just overthink things a lot. So I think this would help me a lot more. I don't mean to keep making excuses. I just don't want to come out with a video if I don't think it's any good. Like I'd rather come out with something that I'm proud of. So yeah, I hope that all made sense. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. If you guys are up for that, if you guys are excited for that, then I will do that probably within the next week or two, we can go ahead and start that. But yeah, so those are the two things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, but back to our current family here. Oh, it looks like, ooh, Caspian is talking. I mean, he's tense. He's very tense, but Caspian is talking to Alice May. I might have Alice May go practice her speech too. She's been still trying to stay happy. I like, cause Jabari can't make her speech, which I think might be in a few episodes. Maybe the next episode, I'll try to do that. Like the banquet where she gives her speech. Okay, yeah, she's done with her homework. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, is there a mirror nearby? Maybe there's one in her room. Okay, so she's gonna go say bye to Caspian. She's gonna go practice her speech. It looks like Caspian was talking to her a little bit. I mean, they're around each other like all the time. So I can imagine that they do talk to each other. But Alice may still have been trying to stay happy, but Caspian still catches her like just being sad sometimes, like spacing off. Alice may just spaces off a little bit sometimes, just thinking about how her dad can't make it to her speech. I don't think Caspian has gotten the chance to ask her about it again since the last time, but I'm sure that the next time he gets the chance, he will ask her. So I do think that a big reason that Caspian has not really been talking to Alice may much is because that he thinks that Cleo and Alice may are a thing. Like he's met them both before, but I think since the last time when he saw them, when Cleo was like glaring at him, I don't I don't know if he thinks that they're dating, but he at least thinks that there's something between them. So when Alice May asked if he needed help finding anything in the palace, if he remembered where anything is, I actually don't think that Caspian remembered where everything was and that he ended up just going to ask one of the staff members instead. But I think because Cleo was glaring at him, I think Caspian was just like, I don't want to have to deal with this. So he just said that he did remember where everything was just to avoid any confrontation. But of course, Alice May does keep trying to still talk to him. But yeah, I think that's why he he hasn't really been talking to Alice May much and why he's been acting so cold towards her. He's not really like a talkative person in general, but I just think that's why he refused her help in the last episode in the intro. And plus Caspian just has all this other stuff going on at home. He still wants to move in with his dad, but as you guys saw in the story post, his dad just told him like, look, Winnenberg's a cool place. You should just enjoy it while you're there, make the most of it. But we'll see them more. I'm going to, do actually in the next episode, there might be two intros, two Machinima intros. So we'll see them a little bit more in one of those intros. So yay, last thing we're going to do is have the birthday party for Elena, Juliet, Manuel, and Takashi. We'll again see our Windenburg Royal fam later on, talk about them later, but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. So yeah, okay, let's go. All right, we are now at the Willow Creek Palace. So this is where we're going to be having the birthday party for Elena, Juliet, Manuel, and Takashi. Takashi. So this is more just like the birthday party for the teens, I guess. So Manuel, he already celebrated his birthday with his family. So Ari and Gabriel, they celebrated with him before they left for their honeymoon. And then with Takashi, he got to celebrate with his mother, with Meilin and with Araminta and Han and everybody. So they've already done their things with their family. So this is like the friend's birthday party. So this is mostly teenagers. I did gate off the stairs because we know what happened last time at, I think it was Genevieve and Kimmy's birthday party. Was it their birthday party? I think it was their birthday party. So I have put up our so-called baby gates to make sure no one goes upstairs and woohoo's in anybody's bedroom that they're not supposed to. So yeah, they should be okay. I think we'll be good. Since this is really more for the teens, I wonder if Corinne and Louie would let them do their thing and go upstairs. Maybe we'll just let this 
be for the teenagers. Let's do that. So I just teleported them up there since we already had the gates closed. I do think that Cornelia still doesn't really like Takashi all that much. Like Manuel is definitely the favorite boyfriend out of his sister's boyfriends. Genevieve is still traveling. She did not make it back for her sister's birthdays, but she FaceTimed them, wished them happy birthdays, sent them some gifts. So for a while she was in San Myshuno and probably traveling around to the other worlds too. But at this point, I think she's traveling so far, like to worlds we don't even have in our game. So she's gonna be gone for a good amount of time, but we'll see her again soon. She FaceTimes Cornelius and Alice all the time. She of course FaceTimed her sisters, her whole family, but we'll, we'll see her soon for sure. And then we have Alice May here too. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Of course we just saw her, but she's here. And then all the other teens like Kaleo's here. Minerva and William are here without Gabriel actually. Oh, so yeah, that they're here. Oh, Juliet is just playing the piano. Uh, maybe you should go say hi to your boyfriend. Let's see, where is he? We got some people talking here in the bushes. I don't know why. Call them over. We have Jessica here and Frederick should be here too. So we can see them for a bit. Oh, we do have Minerva here and William here. I'm going to have them talk. Well, they're already talking. I think we're good. They're already talking to each other. I mean, they've been like texting too. So now they're like actually seeing each other in person and her overbearing big brother is not here. And then we have Nani here. She's talking to Juliet. Oh, but Cornelius and Alice, they're just talking here at the bar. They're getting a drink. And then yeah, Ari and Gabriel, they're already on their honeymoon, but we do have Kimmy and Makana here. Elena and Takashi are actually talking in here in this room, like away from everyone else, away from Cornelius, away from, well, her parents are upstairs, so that's not as big of a deal, but yeah, away from Cornelius. But I am going to have them start aging up and blowing out the candles. All right, let's age up Manuel, and then we'll age up Takashi, and Juliet is the older twin, and then Elena. I don't think it even matters at this point. They're all aging up in the same day. So, okay, Manuel, ha oh, I'm sorry. I just sped through that. I'm so sorry, but Manuel, he blew out the candles. I totally missed that. But let's add the birthday candles again. So they're all gonna have this one cake. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just have Juliet blow out the candles right now because Takashi and Elena are talking in this room over here, but they need to go over here so that they can all blow out the candles. But Juliet is now going to age up into a young adult. Yay! Okay, Juliet, uh, let's randomize this. An art lover. I can see her being, you know what? Actually, she's always playing the piano. I'm gonna pick music lover instead. I know I just randomized it. I just wanted to see what she would get, but let's have her be a music lover just cause she's always playing the piano at the parties. And then let's add the birthday candles again. And then I'm going to age up Takashi. So we better get his butt in here before Cornelius realizes that he's missing. <laughs> All right, Takashi is now blowing out the candles. Oh, this, Alice May and Nani, they're just talking over here. Okay, let's have Takashi age up, blow out the candles. Okay, so he's now a young adult. And then let's add the birthday candles again and have Elena age up. All right, cool. Oh, they're all aging up into young adults. I can't believe it, they're all grown up. Our babies are all grown up. All right, Elena, she was materialistic and a perfectionist. All right, let's just see what we get if we do random. A dance machine, oh my God, I can 100% see that for Elena. Yes, we're keeping that for sure, okay. Yay, all right, let's call people to get some cake, call the meal. But we do have Frederick and, jo oh my God, wait, stop, they're so cute. <gasps> Frederick and Jessica, they're so cute. Frederick's feeling flirty. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have Jessica flirt with him some more. Oh my gosh. I, they're, oh, they're so cute. I love them. I think that Johan and Sadira really like Jessica too. They've known her since she was a kid. They know that she can be a little bit mischievous. I feel like they heard about her trying to like pair Makai up with someone when he was single. I honestly think they laughed. I think they thought it was funny. But since Gabriel's not here and we have William and Minerva here, I'm going to have William go talk to Minerva and flirt with her for a little bit. I think he really wanted to talk to her more at Gabriel and Arya's wedding. I think he thought she looked really, really pretty. Like, I think he always thinks she looks pretty, but I think at the wedding, he was like, she looks so pretty. All right, William and Minerva, they're talking. Oh, we could ask her to be her girl. Oh, they could have their first kiss. <gasps> I feel like he's been waiting to kiss her for a long time. I don't know. Should they take it slow? I feel like they're both people that take it a little bit slower. I'm gonna wait. I think we're gonna wait for them to have their first kiss. I just think William's a little bit more on the shy side, so I can't see him like, I think they're both kind of shy. So I think they're gonna 
gonna hang out a little bit more before they have their first kiss. But yeah, okay, so they're flirting, they're cute. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys too, Kaleo got his tattoos. Makana has one similar to it on his right arm, but yeah, Kaleo got his tattoos. I feel like as soon as he got it, he wanted to show Alice May. He's like, look. <laughs> and since the whole, like since the intro of the last episode, Kaleo hasn't really seen Caspian around Alice May. Like it hasn't been that long since the last episode, so he hasn't seen them much. But I think if he keeps being overbearing and jealous like that, and if he is making those remarks about him being a commoner, especially since Jessica was a commoner, I'm sure Alice May would say something eventually. I think that's actually all we're going to do. I think this is a good place to stop. I think I've covered everything I needed to in this episode. But let me know your thoughts on everything. I will be posting a poll in a few days about the name for our new kingdom, for our combined kingdom of Selva Dorada and Dakarai. Let me know your thoughts on Caspian and Alice May. I loved hearing your guys' thoughts in the last episode. I'd love to hear them more, especially after what we talked about in this episode with them. Let me know what you guys thought of Arya and Gabriel's wedding. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.